All right, it's Miss C here, and this is going to be an example cut list and building steps that you will need to do for your projects. We are going to do this according to this table right here, so you have a visual representation. Step one for your cut list is to observe what the table is made of. So we have four legs here and four framing sides in one big piece of plywood at the top. So it translates, as you'll see on the board, it's eight pieces. That there's four legs, each at this length, and four frame pieces at this length. And then one piece of plywood that's half inch thick, 24 inches by 24 inches, to create the tabletop. Next is the building steps. Step one and step one through five are standard for anything that you're working on. All right, you will measure twice to make sure it's accurate. Make sure it's accurate. Step two, you'll mark it with a V. Remember, we do this so that we can, when we measure across, we me we draw the line directly in the middle of the V. Then you'll put on, make sure you have proper safety gear on and make your cuts. You'll have to repeat this for each piece because, like we talked about, the blade on the saw will take up an eighth of an inch sometimes, and if you let that build up over time, your pieces could become short. Again, remember, the blade is this thick, so you have to measure and cut and then re-measure and re-cut each time so that you don't have this width taken off of each piece. All right, and to get more specific for our table here, okay, step six will be to secure the frame together. Secure the frame together. Securing the frame together would require it to be on a table or on the floor like this, and you would use the square to make sure that it is at a right angle, putting the measuring tape on the corners. As you can see here, when we've checked the two by fours are square, but this piece sticking out does not make it square. No, no, no. Step seven would be attaching the tabletop. And again, you could flip it over and attach it, um, glue it this way, but it would require you putting and placing screws from the top. And you can see the screws here every six inches or so. Then you would be attaching the legs. You would attach the legs and also make sure that they are square. If they're not square, your table will rock and not be steady. And then you would attach the wheels. And these wheels attach with four screws on either side of it. Then you would sand the wood so that there wouldn't be any splinters or issues with people touching the table. It is used where humans would be sitting, writing, drawing. You would sand it and then paint it. So that is your examples for your build step and your cut list, both found on the board. Please email me if you have any questions. You'll be doing this for your projects today. Good luck.